What is up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice and welcome to another RetroArch tutorial. If you guys haven't seen the previous videos or tutorials, the links are down in the description. Be sure to check out those videos uh, before this so you understand what is going on. Now this is the long awaited how to connect and use your PS3 controller with the RetroArch emulator and this does work for all cores within the emulator so it'll work for the PlayStation games, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, so on and so forth. Uh, so this is probably one of my favorite you know, things about this emulator is being able to use uh, this controller to play these games and it's so smooth and nice that it, it, it's pretty incredible. Um, now you will need a computer for this part. If you don't have a computer, I'm sorry, there's nothing I can really do about it, but you won't be able to uh, pair the Bluetooth of uh, the, the uh, iPhone and the PS3 controller. And this also does work with iPod Touch and iPad if you're trying to pair it with either of those as well. So uh, the first thing you guys are gonna need to do now is go ahead and launch Cydia. I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel on this and then you're gonna wanna go to the manage tab and go to settings in the upper left hand corner and then um, I'm sure most of you might have on user. Be sure to switch it to developer and then click done. That's uh, the only way you can see this package. So go ahead and go to the search tab now and search for BT stack. This is a free download from the big boss repo. So go ahead and install that and then we can exit out of Cydia. And now we're gonna need to connect our iPhone iPod or iPad to our computer and you will also need to connect your PS3 controller uh, to your computer both via USB so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now now I do have both devices connected to my computer and uh, on a, a quick side note if you guys have any other Bluetooth devices around you um, you might want to disable Bluetooth on them because they might come into conflict with trying to sync these two together I noticed uh, with my iPad my iPod touch and even my Mac I disabled uh, Bluetooth on all of them and then I started to not have any issues but while they were all on I was having problems getting my PS3 controller to connect to my iPhone so um, do keep in mind that if you have other Bluetooth devices it can come into conflict with this process so the next part is we're gonna go ahead and jump on the computer here and um, it's it's a program called a six pair I will leave the link down in the description it does differ between Mac and Windows Windows is a little bit more complicated but if you just use the link down in the description, the instructions are there and it's really not too hard. So we're gonna go ahead and jump onto my computer now. So now all you gotta do on your computer is go ahead and open the six pair Mac right here. Go ahead and double click it. And as you can see, it says uh, both devices are connected and all you gotta do is click pair controller to iPhone. And then it says controller paired to iPhone enjoy. And that's all we gotta do on the computer. And now we can jump back over to our devices. Now what you gotta do is go ahead and launch Retro Arch. Go ahead and open it up. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and unplug my PS3 controller and there we go, it is connected. As you can see, the single light came on. You should only have to do this computer part once and then the uh, Bluetooth uh, will be paired for until you change it or if your PS3 controller tries to connect to something else. Uh, if you guys wanna switch between like your iPhone and your iPad and using this controller, you will have to use six pair the program and do the process like I just showed you. Uh, so this controller is now connected to my iPhone. The Bluetooth uh, little icon is on in the status bar and the number one LED is lit up right there as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my iPhone a bit more close for the next part. Now to be able to use the controller with whatever game you wanna play, we're gonna go ahead and go to ROMs. Um, I suppose I could do a PlayStation game, but just to show you that it works with other stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and do a Game Boy Color game. I'm gonna go ahead and do Actually, let's let's back out here. Let's do um, let's do Game Boy Advanced, and then let's just do Pokemon Emerald. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna launch uh, this game with the core Game Boy Advanced VBA Next, which is the bottom one. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch the game. Now, in order to enable uh, the controller, there's the little like Metro or whatever uh, kind of icon the little like old bug icon click on that and it's going to bring up this sub menu uh, this is where you're going to enable the controller so scroll down or click down until you see input options so go ahead and click on that and then scroll down until you see just device and click to the right until you see six axis dual shock and as you can see now the controller is working as i can control that menu 
with just the controller. So there you go, as you see right there, it is working. We're gonna go ahead and back out and I'm gonna go ahead and click on resume game. And here you go. I'll show you that this controller is working. I suppose I could kind of do it like this, huh? So as you guys can see, it is working. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of Pokemon Emerald real quick. And I'm going to back out. And I'm going to do the PlayStation, uh, a PlayStation game just for example one more time on how to do this. So PlayStation 1. There's the little bug icon within the, uh, the button overlay. I'm going to let the game kind of start here. Go ahead and click that. And then scroll down. You'll have to do this for each core. And each core is like PlayStation or Game Boy or Nintendo. Go ahead and go to Input Options once again. Go ahead and scroll down until you get to device. Scroll over until it's the PlayStation controller. So then we can go ahead and exit out of this. Resume game. And now if you guys want to play this without the button overlay being there, just click this little arrow, click it again, and then now there is no button overlay. So that's another thing I want to add to this as well. So. As you can see, I am playing Tekken 3 with the PS3 controller, and this is absolutely epic. This is so fun. So I'm going to go ahead and go get my controller off camera and whoop some ass. Hopefully. Get owned. So there you go. I think you guys get the idea. And of course, you can always play it in landscape. So that is going to be it for this tutorial, guys. That is how you connect your PS3 controller and use it with RetroArch. Um, again, uh, links and everything you need to know is down in the description. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That will help out my video tremendously. And also, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, be sure to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy with Everything Idevice, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.